Uh, all right. You guys uh, very competitive last season in Coach Kunkel's first season. How do you build off that? I think you said you guys were five and six, if I recall. Yeah, I think the goal is to just um, play it one game at a time and just keep shocking people like we did last year. Like Jay County game, that was a shock to everybody. We just need to keep doing that same thing every week. When you take a look at, uh, obviously, Brandon Lockwood carried a lot of the load for you guys offensively last year. Who are some of the guys that are going to step into bigger roles this year for the Tigers? Uh, Everett Johnson, the backfield. Um, I think me and Blake Kaiser have a have a weight to carry on our shoulders and Gavin King leading and the quarterback. And I think our receivers need to step up, too. So it's going to be a kind of challenge for all of us, but we're going to do it. How much do you look forward to that challenge? Because you take a look, as I was talking with the coach, about the ACAC. Woodland goes to the state championship game. Southern Wells has some excitement with the new coach. You know Adam Central's going to be good. South Adams is building. Everybody's you know, on, uh, on the way up, I guess, in this conference. How much do you look forward to the level of competition being raised? I think it makes everybody more excited, um, more focused, more prepared, uh, taking, taking weights and uh, everything that involves football practice to the next level. So it's going to be fun. Final question, what's the biggest key for Bluffton in 2018? One game at a time. Keep our heads on straight. I uh, mentioned you as one of the names as he was looking to be a leader this year. Uh, what do you tell some of the young guys? How do you get them uh, coached up and, and mentally prepared for what it's like on a Friday night in the ACAC? Well, I just tell them you never know what your last game is going to be and just play your hardest and give everything you got 100%. This Bluffton team, 5-6 and six last year, kind of build it competitive. Um, so what do you take from last year that you can use this time around? Uh, intensity. We played hard. We played rough. That's all you need is intensity. Every coach will tell you in high school football it starts in the line. It starts in the trenches. How do you set the tone for this team? Just by hitting hard. That's all you can do, really. Just hold your blocks. Let the guys run their – let them do their job. Coach Kunkel, second year. Obviously, last year you're kind of getting used to what he does and how he is as far as mentality but also schematically. Now that you got a year under your belt under coach, you feel like you guys can take another step and you feel like you're kind of ahead of the game maybe where you were last year? Yeah, I do. Coach Kunkel has been like a huge asset to our team from the past years. Our team's been a joke for the past four or five years, and when Kunkel stepped in, it just rose our program above and beyond what it was. What are your expectations for Bluffton in 20, uh, 2018? Uh, just play hard, do our best, and hopefully win a state championship. What do you take from last year that you can apply this year to take a further step? Yeah, I thought we had a great first year just in terms of kind of how we wanted to do things, implementing the culture we wanted to do. Um, you know, we had, a, we had a great year on the field, I would say. I mean, five and six, and that's something at Bluffton. It hasn't been the norm. We're trying to get at the norm. Uh, but more importantly than that, I think we developed a lot of a good character guys. Um, year two here, our senior class, um, it's one of the better locker rooms I've ever been in. And that, that stems from them kind of buying into the things we want to do, uh, both on the field and off the field. So, you know, you can't, you can't take anything in terms of last year, like from scores and stuff, because we don't get a, we don't get a, a head start this year. So, yeah. and I think our league is going to be really, really talented this year. So, um, but we just, we take the things like the culture and how we want to do things, kind of build from that. So. As far as player personnel goes, where are you guys at in terms of returnees and who are some of the guys that you know, we're going to be seeing on Friday nights when we go to the highlights? Zone? Yeah, we, uh, we lost a pretty talented senior group. I mean, Brandon Lockwood ran for 1,600 yards, yeah. so uh, replacing that's going to be difficult, but um, we're, we're probably about six, seven starters on each side of the ball, guys who at least played some and had some spot duty coming back, so we feel good about that. I think the key to our year, though, is going to be developing some depth. Um, just along the, those number twos and number threes. You know, when you're a, a two-way school, sometimes that's hard. So hopefully some kids can step up here as we get into camp and stuff. But, I mean, Everett Johnson's going to carry the load for us offensively. Um, Gavin King will be our quarterback most likely. Uh, Blake Kaiser actually led the conference in catches from a receiver spot um, last year. So he's back. So we got some playmakers offensively and defensively. Um, I think we have one of the better defensive tackles in the area, Levi Boots, who will kind of anchor things for us up front. Uh, Evan Kitts, a three-year starter at linebacker, who will help us out there as well. So I feel good about where we're at, but like I said, depth's going to be a, a big thing for us. When you take a look at your conference, um, you know, Woodland's coming off a run of the state championship game. you got Adam Central, who seems to be winning double-digit games every year. Uh, Southern Wells made some changes. There's excitement there. I mean, really just across the board, yeah. Uh, things are looking up. Uh, South Adams put together back-to-back -back winning seasons for the first time in like 15 years. Right. Um, how do you approach that knowing that 
I think the bar has been raised, I guess, when you talk about the ACA. And that's the thing I've talked to my guys about. I think last year was going to be our easiest year in the sense that people didn't really expect much from Bluffton. I mean, just the, the things have been going on, you know, the past few years and just the, the, the tradition of Bluffton football. People don't really think of us as a football school. So I think we snuck up on some teams. But like you said, I think our league this year might be the most talented and depth that I've, that I've seen. Um, South Adams is going to be good. Woodland is going to be good. AC is going to be good. Jay County is going to be good. Mm -hmm. Heritage, I think, is going to be a lot better, yeah. and they're going to be good. And Southern Wells, like you said, makes some changes, and Coach Mose has some excitement going there. So we might have a better team, you know, this year than last year and end up with a record that might not reflect that. But the bottom line is I think our league this year is going to prepare us to get into the tournament, um, you know, and things like that moving forward, which is kind of the step we want to take as a program. You know, we, we want to play into November and get some wins there. So, like I said, our, our league is extremely talented. We've got a lot of good coaches, a lot of good players. So uh, I'm looking forward to the challenge each week.